This is a supplementary tutorial for the histogram uh, lab that uh, we've been working on with CDC data. In this uh, tutorial what I'd like to do is show you how to create and run a script file in R. Um, if you have been typing in the uh, commands um, as we've gone along here, um, you would have uh, your console would be filled with uh, these commands and this output and you would have a history with all of that information listed there. And so what you want to do is get this information from the history or just the relevant information from the history over to a script file. So I'm going to create a new script file here and it comes up, it says untitled. I can pick the commands over here that I would like to use and I'm actually going to select all of them and send this over to the source. Insert the selected commands into the current document which is untitled one. Uh, now the thing that I can I can edit uh, here, um, it's always uh, best practice to add comments to the file so you know what's going on. Um, you could say uh, this is the R script file for lab 2 or something like that. Um, and you can document what each of the commands is uh, designed to do. One additional thing that uh, um, I wanted to show you here that we didn't do in the previous labs is that uh, you need to create uh, an output file for the output from the console. And again, you do that with a sync command. So we'll say sync and I'll say, and I'll call this lab2 output dot txt and I don't have to put in a split equals true option here. Um, I could, I could say split equals true, and, sorry, equals true. And what that would do is, is direct the console output not only into the output uh, text file, but also to the console screen. In this case, I really don't need to see everything in the console screen, um, so I will uh, eliminate, uh, I, or I won't include that, and then uh, um, it would process, it's going to process each of these commands, and then at the very end what you want to do is uh, um, close, sorry, close the output file, and you do that with sync, with uh, blank or empty parentheses. Now you can save uh, this file, and I already have one called lab2, so I'll just call this lab2 uh, lab a, I guess. And to run that, I was running here with, a, with just a line, but uh, if I go over to the source, source the contents of the active document, and it'll actually go through the entire thing, uh, including loading the CDC data set, which it's going to take just a minute to do here. So I'll wait for that to happen and uh, um, we'll see some things uh, slip by on the screen and um, everything will be done. But I'm going to wait while it... there we go. And you can see I have a distribution of non-smokers by body mass index. Um, I have all of those plots that uh, were made. And if I go over here to the Files button, um, there's my lab to uh, output text. I can open that over here in the uh, source and you can see there's a list of all of the commands 
with uh, the uh, console output here with uh, the number of smokers and non-smokers, for example, or the uh, summary information for uh, BMI. Anyway, um, that's uh, uh, how you create and run a script file and generate um, some output. Uh, the information that you would need uh, to send uh, for the lab to me would be this uh, uh, output file along with a Word document containing the uh, histograms.